this is how you're probably gonna be seeing in the thumbnail. <laughs> this is me exaggerating a little bit, but this is me flexing. What's up everyone, day seven of the Extreme Fat Loss Week. I'm excited to see the results heading over to the gym right now. It's time for upper body session and a final physique comparison from day number one to day number seven. Finally, it's time to show you guys the results of the one week extreme fat loss. Day one versus day seven here on the screen. You can definitely tell that there is a huge difference. I've never done this before and I'm really happy that it turned out the way it did because you can really tell that I did actually manage to lose a lot of fat. You can notice it, especially in the belly or stomach area. My abs are looking a lot more visible. I still maintained a lot of muscle mass. The lighting here is actually pretty good. On day number one, I was actually looking a lot worse than it seems here on the video. I'm not gonna lie, it was horrible to put in that much effort. This was done without any extra supplementation or any drugs. This was 100% natural. Here's a comparison between the day before I started the fat loss Last week and today I was pretty bloated from the traveling so I'm not looking as ripped but still you can see obviously a huge massive improvement there is no doubt that that is a crazy crazy one week transformation I've never seen anyone else do this so it was an awesome experiment for me to do and share the whole thing with you guys I'm gonna be explaining everything about how I did it in a second so stay tuned we're in a huge rush because yeah, we need to pack, we need to eat, and uh, as a result, I'm not able to film a step-by-step -step of what I'm preparing, but here it is. Got some mushrooms cookie in there, alongside some broccoli, and a little bit of mock chicken as well. And I got two of these corn on the cob, and that is gonna be my post-workout meal. Are you packing already? Yeah, I'm packing your stuff. Oh, thank you so much. I knew marrying you was the right choice. Uh, it's always the same with us. Always in a rush. minute ferry ride to the next city. It's gonna be a long journey. We're not gonna be home until midnight. As you can see now, I'm back in Barcelona, Spain, enjoying the sun finally. And now I'm gonna go through the simple steps that I use with you guys. The first thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is diet. Most of you guys already know this, but I follow a plant-based diet, so no animal products, no meats dairy or eggs. So during the whole week of extreme fat loss, I focus on getting as many vegetables as I could into my body and keeping the volume of the meals or the size of the meals as large as possible to keep me full. I was not hungry at all during the whole week of extreme fat loss, even though I was eating a lot less calories than I'm used to. Now this is a very, very crucial trick for you guys to use because it's all about caloric density. So as you can see on the image that I'm presenting right here, oil and cheese and high fatty processed foods barely fills up your stomach while 400 calories of grains and legumes and vegetables fill your stomach up completely so that you get that feeling of fullness and satiation. So when you fill your body with oils and high fatty uh, foods like cheese and meats, it will only fill up a certain amount of your stomach and even though your calories went way overboard, your body will not realize it because your stomach isn't full. So not only will you have way too many calories for the volume of food that you're eating, you will also get hungry again after a short period of time, preventing you from being able to lose weight. So I was eating tons and tons of low calorie vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, as well as mushrooms, tomatoes, berries, a little bit of fruit in there as well, anything that will give me a lot of nutrients, a lot of antioxidants to recover from the workouts and everything for as little calories as possible. In addition to supersizing my vegetable intakes and eating loads of whole foods, I was focusing on increasing my protein intake just to decrease the chances of using my muscle as fuel when I'm restricting calories that much and training this hard. So I was choosing a lot of foods high in protein like beans, uh, lentils, chickpeas. I also had a lot of mock chicken and protein powder. Usually you don't need that much protein even when you're on deficit, but this was an extreme fat loss week. My fat content was very, very low. Now, if you wanna go low carb and high fat, that is not gonna have the same effect on you. It will burn fat as fast, but in general, you won't feel energized throughout your workouts. You won't be able to recover optimally. And unless you're used to a low carb diet, you're not gonna be able to sustain it while training this much. But remember, it's not only about the calories. That is a mistake a lot of people make, especially people who are into flexible dieting. If I were to do flexible dieting, eating 1,800 calories, I would not be able to make it. 
yes you will lose fat but you will not have the willpower to complete it because you wouldn't feel full you wouldn't get all the energy and vitamins and minerals it would not work with a junk food flexible diet you have to choose whole foods another thing that I did was intermittent fasting I just skip my breakfast so I wait as long as I can until I start eating so I stay a little bit more hungry in the mornings and then as a result I have a shorter eating period on the day so I can get in higher volume meals bigger meals to feel a lot more full and satisfied so usually I get up about 8 o'clock in the morning and then I'll fast to do my uh, workout fasted and then I will have my first meal at 1 or 2 p.m. and then my last meal at about 8 or 9 p.m. so obviously to get extreme results you will need to be on a big deficit and that is not the healthiest thing to be in but I was eating 1800 calories and that is very very low for a person of my size my maintenance calories or the amount of food that I have to consume to maintain my current body weight is 2400 calories if I include the one hour of lifting per day so that put me on a 600 calorie deficit which is pretty big but that is without all the extra training which we're gonna get into right now so training wise apart from the one hour of lifting per day I was also doing a 30 minute jog fasted in the morning and then I would have another cardio session at night usually it was a soccer or football training for one and a half hours that adds up to three hours of training per day one day I even did a four and a half hour hike plus one and a half hours of soccer so that was six hours of training it's crazy I know but I was able to recover because of the foods that I was putting into my body once again this is not sustainable it's just what I did to achieve these results now in terms of effort when I'm in the gym or doing my cardio sessions this is gonna have a lot to do with how much you burn as well I was putting in as much effort as possible I was hitting the gym really hard sweating like crazy training to failure on every single set if you go through the workouts passively you may burn half as much as you would when you push yourself so that is also very important to think about so that is it really simple that's all I did I focus on healthy whole foods higher protein loads and loads of cardio work pretty easy it's all about tricking your body eating a lot of low calorie vegetables and staying full but remember this is not sustainable this is not something I recommend anyone to do because if you do this for more than a couple days or a week your metabolism will start slowing down and you will lose a lot of muscle mass because of that huge deficit so what I do recommend instead is going steady slow and just focusing on lifestyle changes instead of you know crash diets and that is what I will be doing moving forward right now which I'm really excited to share with you guys I'm going to build muscle get stronger and lose fat without counting calories that is what we all need and what we're all looking for the secret to sustainable health and lean gains and fat loss for the rest of your life so hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and you will see what I'm talking about in the upcoming videos anyways thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon peace out